Hi, uh, my name is Robin Fu, and this is my kitten Sassafras. One of four kittens. Um, the I am the luckiest girl in the world. And here's why. Today, well, first off, I should probably say I'm um, stop breaking up my necklace. <laughs> um, I've been playing the violin since I was in third grade, uh, but I had only ever played with my orchestras um, in in school, and I've never actually had a private teacher. And uh, so, my first private teacher ever is uh, I was just accepted by him today, uh, Vladimir Gamarnik, and uh, kind of extremely humbling teacher because he is uh, an international uh, virtuoso star who has performed at the most prestigious venues in the world and is won first place in all international competitions he enters and um, he was handpicked by the Soviet Union when he was a child to become a star prodigy Hello, cat. But, uh, yeah, I, this is my new teacher. <laughs> and apparently we were neighbors for a year and didn't even know it. And, uh, I'm, I'm really happy right now. And I got to hear him play. I got an extended private concert today. And, uh, <laughs> I almost fell out of my chair because... I have never heard anything like that except from Maxime Vengeroff's recordings. And so this person is uh, one of the top virtuosos in the world. And he's <laughs> my new teacher. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because um, he said there are students who play much, much better than I do um, that he rejected because Sassafras. Because, um, uh, because they had poor attitudes or were locked into their training, their rigid mistakes that other teachers had been forced upon them. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um, and he said that I have no technique, which I understand because I'm actually mostly self-taught. And, um, and I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> um, but he said he accepted me because I am I have a very good heart towards the violin and I'm very involved in the music and um, that I'm very open and uh, obedient. <laughs> and um, I it's not the first time I heard this, but it's, I am a new teacher, and so, oh my god, I, I'm so excited, and I'm just the luckiest girl in the world, and I am just overjoyed, and I'm just, oh my god, I, I cannot believe my fortune, and unfortunately, there's, this has kind of brought up a dilemma with my family, and, uh, um, and I guess with me. Sassafras, stop changing my wires. Because <laughs> um, I'm also... Uh, I'm actively training to become a ballet dancer. Um, I was going to go to the Peabody Conservatory this semester um, for that. But... You can't. But, um... In Baltimore. Um, but... Uh, I'm told that I have to pick... Or at least soon I will have to pick one thing and just leave the other. And I don't feel I can live with ballet, and I don't feel I can... I know I'm going to be playing the violin for the rest of my life. And when Mr. Gamarnik says there's hope for me yet. Um, so I'm going to be studying three times a week or something to start with. And it's kind of expensive, but it's very important to me. Um... But, um, I, this is 
big thing for me in my life. Nothing yet, like this has ever happened to me. Um, you know, like comparable situation was in my friend Galina Silovieva from the Mariinsky Theater, and well, she's the costume designer for all the most prestigious theaters in the world. And I met her through my uh, we share a Dharma teacher, Gretchen Rinpoche. Um, cat. And she told me uh, that you are a ballerina, and you will definitely become a ballerina. From me just playing around in like public and stuff. And was talking about it, talking to the Kirov Academy of Ballet in DC's director and introducing me to Natalia Makarova. But and this is not quite the same because this is an actual teacher is like in my area and is like really, really like oh my god. Squirmy kitten, oh my goodness. That's, um so yeah. Um, so I've been told I have, uh, a lot of potential and talent in both ballet and violin, um, by people who know what the hell they're doing and who have seen the best and who are the best. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm really, really happy about this. Um, but again... I'm told I'll have to stick with one, and I mean, I want to do ballet, and I would really like a career in ballet, but I also want to master the violin, and I don't know how long this opportunity is going to last, so I'm a little bit at a dilemma. I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um, so, I mean, just... Sharing the good news and the sassy press get back over here. I know I look like that. Oh my goodness, squirming kitten. And um, I don't know if anyone has any advice or, I mean, choosing between two passions. Um, I guess that would be appreciated. Um, Sassafras just ran up to my door and crashed into it head first. <laughs> um, so, I guess, yay, I have a new teacher and I'm really, really excited about it. So, thank you for listening and I guess see you later or something. <laughs>